Wendy's. There are all sorts of stores here. Agia's Family Store, Himegi Sports, uh, Tatsaki's Store, Sun Eves. It's on a small scale, but there's also a home center. If you need something, you can come to this place and walk around to search for anything you can use. Where? Huh? On the top floor? Okay. Agia rides the escalator to the top floor. There's no home center here. I guess she's going to pop into Himegi Sports. Huh? Oh no, the cafe again apparently. I blurt out as soon as I see where Agia is headed. Underwear? It's an underwear store. A woman's underwear store. A specialist one at that. Underwear designed for young women. Various designs. Various colors. Frilly types. Erotic types. Well, technically, I could use them. It'd be very weird, but I can. Yeah, you said that. You did say that, but... My face turns red. I begin to sweat. I struggle to find a place to turn my eyes. Eventually, I cover my eyes with my hands and stand stock still. <laughs> stock still? <laughs> of course I am! <laughs> oh no! Why are you trying to embarrass me like this? I I'm going to be over there. Sure. Try? Try on? At an underwear store? In other words? I turn my back on the store and try to control my breathing. I, 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 I have to stop my wild thoughts. Get control. Control yourself. That's it. Think of the feeling of flight. Sudden stalling. Turbulence. Spins. Rocking, descent. If you have an accident on a bicycle, you merely hit the ground. But in a glider, an accident means falling from the sky. So no matter what the situation, you can't lose composure. To return safely to the ground is the most important thing to a pilot. Soon I will pass through the passage of clouds. So, to be disturbed by something as trivial as this isn't acceptable. Calm down, calm down. Keep the machine in line with the horizon. Catch the wind with the wings. <sighs> with a deep breath, I somehow regret. There. <sighs> Fail. Right. With a deep breath, I somehow regain composure. That's right. It's only Agiha. When we were little kids, we took baths together. Nothing wrong with that. Black. Chew! I can't calm down. <laughs> you little. Oh, thank God. Huh? Good to know. Boastfully, Aggie lifts up a colorful small box resembling a chocolate container. <laughs> Don't show me! <laughs> what? Darn it! <laughs> what the hell was that? <laughs> Darn it! Men's underwear are so simple, but women's are like this. They have to be tried on and then put into this kind of packaging? Nah, that's not where the problem lies. What exactly are you trying to do? That's not what I'm talking about. Where next? 
Hey, wait! Oh dear. Do 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 do. The next place was a clothes store on the same floor. I'm not gonna fall for your tricks anymore. They're both fine. <laughs> Let's see. I don't know. I don't know anything about girls' clothes. Walking together side by side. That would be like a date. Me and Agiha. Like boyfriend and girlfriend. All romantic. Being all touchy feely. Nothing. Hey. <laughs> Of course not! Seriously! What kind of girl talks about this with a guy? Talk about this stuff with other girls! <laughs> oh, I love it. The person you want to see it? You mean... Ah, uh, thanks. What did I do? Mm. Aya suddenly pouts her cheeks. She seriously looks angry. Um, shopping? Um, the old secret base, I guess? We spoke about that, I'm pretty sure. Okay. Hmm... At the old secret base. Oh, that. She wants to make me say that in this place? But Aggie is giving off an intense impression that if I don't say it, she will not forgive me. Ah, that. Well, I guess you could say I got carried away. I didn't really understand anything then. Uh -huh. Ah? Whoa. She looks like she should be in some bad comic. The wrinkles on her forehead are amazing. Um, you see... Ah, man. I can't say any more than this. I try frantically to move my trembling lips and force out the words. I... I like you. Will you go out with me? Huh? Aggie looks flabbergasted. She turns completely white. Seriously, completely dumbfounded. Astonishingly, speechlessly, aghast. <laughs> You're the one who wanted me to say it. That's right, I said, will you go out with me? The way a guy normally says to a girl, I thought, that's what you did. Whoa, the dark history I had sealed up until now. If there was no one around, I'd want to cover my head in my hands and roll my head around. I'm so embarrassed, I could die. Oh my god, my feelings! Before I moved away, I got in the age where I would get excited by reading comics that showed girls' underwear, or by walking around town with a girl a little bit older than me. At that time, when I realized that boys are meant to tell girls that they like them, at that time, I said it to the girl I liked the most, Agiha. When I think about it, the words I said come back to me so clearly. I like you. Go out with me. Then Agiha, she... Um... What did she say again? I remember Agiha's face at that moment. It was the same as now. Dumbfounded, shocked, pale, eyes and mouth wide open. But I can't remember what it was she said. What I do remember is that in the end, Agia didn't go out with me. In other words, I was rejected. I'm not really sure what brought things to that point. 
where I was like, go out with me. We were always together, always hanging out. Touching wasn't a problem. We would tickle each other, practicing judo holds. Stuff like that. But what I remember clearly is that my confession, my confession wasn't accepted. I totally, I totally thought that we fit together and that Adya would be happy. So I was shocked. And then it became awkward between us and the days we didn't meet continued. And while this was happening, I had to move. I moved away from Kazagura. Aha, interesting. And so we get to the present. Hmm. Ah, uh, why is it so painful to remember my old self? Dripping with sweat, labored breathing, face on fire, just like this. Oh. Agia, still pale as before, tonelessly murmurs. Did you? Hi. Hi? Oh. You wanted that? After saying this, Agia turns red and looks at the ground. Ah. This time, it's my turn to go completely pale. Now that she mentions it, there were other things I said before I confessed. Agia, you're kind of boyish, aren't you? You're not a girl. You're bigger than me. Totally flat-chested. I did say that, didn't I? But Agia and I don't say anything beyond that. We don't buy any clothes, don't go anywhere in particular, just aimlessly walk around and then leave the store. After we change floors, I can finally change the mood. Oh! Yay! Finally! A CG image! After such a depressing... Well, not really depressing, but... Would you call that romantic? Awkward? I don't know, embarrassing? One of those. Okay, so I'm going to end it there. Thank you guys for watching. This has been Delpha. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share, and all that good stuff. Thank you again, and goodbye.